C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. This vid brought to you by Gemmer, the coolest place to collect, connect, and talk all things nerdy. And coming up in just a second, I'm going to show you how you can win a $50 gift card courtesy of Gemmer. What's up all you Star Wars loving dudes and you dads? Toysh is here and I got a really cool news vid for you real fast this morning. We did see these revealed yesterday, but Hasbro, let's keep PR was nice enough. They sent over some high res images of their brand new secret, very super secret, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, Sith Trooper, Sith Stormtrooper. He's basically a all red trooper. Basically, he's hip hop trooper. If you don't know that guy, definitely go follow him on Instagram. The guy is awesome. Definitely, I hope he gets at least, get, you know what I mean? I, I know it's using the Star Wars brand and all that stuff, but at least invite him to the, the movie premiere, something like that. I mean, it's a red stormtrooper. Yeah, they had the magma stormtroopers, yada yada. And we'll also go over the new HasLab. It's something that everyone has been looking forward to, but we'll get into it. But in the meantime, here's how you can win a $50 gift card from Gemmer. While I got you guys here, I just want to give a shout out to my new friends over at Gemmer. Gemmer is an app you can download and it helps you organize. You can create collections right on the go. Put all your different action figures, show them off, let the world see them in full detail. I've already set up a bunch myself, including Club Shiz, where you can go ahead and join me. You can put everything and anything up. Say you got a Marvel Legends collection, Transformers, Ghostbusters, what have you, and you want to be like, yo, this is my stuff right here. What do you got? For everyone that signs up using my particular code link, you'll be entered to win a $50 Amazon gift card. That'll buy you some new action figures to show off on Gemmer in particular. See what we did there? Go ahead and just grab the link. I'll put it right here in the description below. The app is 100% free. Post up all your collections, show them off, and come meet me at Club Shiz. Let's talk all thing toys. I'll see you on Gemmer. Now, with the new HasLab revealed today, there's been a number of rumors considering maybe they were going to go more Star Wars, maybe Marvel Legends, Power Rangers. You know, they have the conglomerate on mostly all the cool toy lines they got going these days, but HasLab kind of pulled the rug out from us a little bit and gave us something that we wouldn't really expect. And you have to also think that Hasbro does other things besides just the normal action figure trope. They got brands you probably don't even know. Go walk around the uh, the, the kids and the, and the girls' toy section sometime. You'll be quite surprised on what they actually produce. But yes, the new HasLab reveal today. I love this photo, by the way. It's like a really sweet photo, but then it looks like they're being held hostage by the Cookie Monster. They're doing a 38-inch Cookie Monster, and he weighs precisely about 10 pounds, mostly from cookies. Haha, <laughs> wink, wink. And it's a really nice, full-quality, armature, fully posable Cookie Monster. And he looks really... He looks... Pretty good. It's Sesame Street is not is not my thing. I I remember watching Sesame Street. Of course, we all did when we were kids. But uh, I think this is really out there. But I think a lot of people are gonna resonate with this. A lot of adult collectors, especially maybe even some some kiddos. You never know. I, you know that would be kind of like a good learning toy. I guess you would say maybe some schools schools out there. Everything you know preschools maybe go in on this. Gets uh, get the classroom. A cookie monster figure. I think that would be a really great incentive for kids in a class. Say, hey, you know, you guys do good. We're going to put money towards this. And when it ships, then do a big classroom reveal and have it be the main centerpiece of the class. Have it be like a learning tool. I think that's awesome. Again, it's 300 bucks. HasLab is up right now. You can go and pre-order it, essentially. It's got to get to a certain number in order for it to be made. But 300 bucks, 38 inches tall, 10 pounds. Really nice material, full articulation. And and the eyes are googly, so that's cool. <laughs> and for those of you saying, well, who asked for this? I didn't ask for this. Where's the you know the action figures? Well, guess what? It, it, this is not for you. This is for other people that want to experience HasLab. And don't sell HasLab short just yet. I'm sure they got other stuff in the works. They've got some master plans, I'm sure. Just be, just, just be calm. SDCC is right around the, the corner. I'm sure we'll see some mold soon. In the Star Wars news, yesterday they revealed a brand new, actually like everybody revealed it. It was like, hey, guess what? Stormtroopers are red now. And now I, all I can think about is the Sith just getting together and saying, you know what? We're going with red. John wanted to go blue. I'm making the overriding decision. Emperor said red. It's red. So this is going to be the Sith Trooper, Sith Stormtrooper from the upcoming Star Wars 
Rise of Skywalker, Episode 9, whatever you call it. You can hear my voice is not too excited about Star Wars, and I really wish that was not the case. has nothing to do with the actual toys themselves. It's just like, Star Wars, yeah, let's... Fingers crossed, it's good. I'm loving the packaging on this thing. This thing looks amazing. It's going to be $32, available only at STCC, and then probably if they have... You know, one's left over. They'll put it up on Hasbro Pulse as they do. But yeah, this is one of those like those the sets that they've they've done since Rogue One. Actually, you know what? No, I take it back. First Order Stormtrooper, then Rogue One. They've done these every single year. They had the two pack last year with uh, Ray and Skywalker. It's I'm not gonna lie. It's a red Stormtrooper, and then they're calling him a Sith Trooper, and then but they also got Magma Troopers and. It is what it is. This guy's actually going to be in the first wave of the upcoming Episode 9 Black Series figures, and I'm sure the 3 and 3 quarter inch. So if you can't get him, it's just the packaging. Yeah, he's probably going to come with a bevy of extra weapons, but this packaging looks amazing. But <laughs> the weapons are Star Wars weapons. You got like a claw, and you got a cannon, and a sword, and a gun, and it just all depends. You know, if you're a crazy Star Wars collector, then absolutely, you need to get this. Do whatever you can to get him. It's going to be 32 bucks. If you don't get them, they're going to put them in the regular Black Series. So it's really just up to you if you want to go that extra mile. But I'm not going to lie, I'd like a red Stormtrooper on my desk. I never picked up that other Magma Trooper or whatever from the four-pack that they did. So this one is a welcome sight. And again, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, Hasbro, if you're listening, invite the Hip Hop Trooper to the premiere at least. Because, I mean, the guy kind of like... He made red stormtroopers a thing he he did just just invite him to the premiere don't don't be like that or give him one of these figures that that would be really nice to you so i'm curious to know what you guys think what do you think about cookie monster what do you guys think about the sith trooper comment below let me know let's talk all things san diego comic-con and Haslab. very curious to know what you guys honest thoughts about the cookie monster don't don't just don't go who asked for this Somebody asked for it. They're not just going to make stuff just to make stuff. Somebody's in a, really into Sesame Street. Sesame Street's a huge thing. Muppets is a real huge thing. So that's who that's for. And you know what? The casual people, they're like, you know what? I want a, I want a Cookie Monster sitting on my collection shelf. Just calm, calm a take. Calm down. Calm down. You're all good. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, some great food. But most importantly, C is for Cookie but that's good enough for me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.